production part of the sound and how the sound is produced. So can you just tell me how the sound is produced? Yes, sound is produced by the vibration. Yes. Now see when you are talking, when you are speaking with anyone, you can just put, you can hold your hand near your neck and you can see the vibration. Are you getting? Can you feel it? Yes or no? Yes, you can feel the vibration. So, sound is produced by the vibration. Vibrating object produces the sound. Yes or no? For this we have done the PVT. Do you remember which activity we have done? Yes, scale activity. Yes or no? I have shown the vibration. Because of the vibration, the sound is produce or in short we can say vibrating object produces the sound yes or no so in today's video we are going to learn about the propagation of sound we are going to learn about the propagation of a sound so what is meant by propagation can you just tell me what is meant by propagation yes propagation means a object when moves the particular distance or in short as we are learning the lesson sound uh, we can say the sound travels to the from one point to the another so that is called as a propagation so we are going to learn today uh, today concept about the propagation of the sound okay so before that you just tell me what is around me oh Yes, you might say, Madam, blackboard is there around you. Yes, table will be my, might be tables, uh, table will be there my, around you. But no, I do. I want what the the thing which is invisible. The invisible thing it is always around us. Can you guess which is that? It is also with around you. Can you guess? Chalo, so guess it. What is that? Yes, it is nothing but air. It is nothing but air. Air is the mirror. Air is the thing which is around you and also me. So that you can hear my sound. You can hear my sound. So I, will, I would like to elaborate this. What is how the uh, sound is produced. Okay. Just imagine if you, you would be in the class. Whenever I will, um, I, if I used to uh, teach any kind of the lesson or if, uh, if I would like to teach you something or if I want to speak that the sound you might get, you, you might have heard. Yes or no? For example, I would like to give the example of your school bell. See, you are sitting in the class. Everyone is in the different class. Am I right? The bell is at particular distance. Bell is at a particular distance distance from your class but as soon as the bell rings you you are able to hear the bell does not come to each and every place and it, it is rang yes or no or it does not come to the particular student and it get rang yes so that you can be here no bell is at a very far distance but although although you, you are able to hear the voice of that bell how can you just tell me Yes, because there is a medium that is called as a air. That is called as an air. So that it helps to uh, move the sound from one place to another. So that is called as a propagation of a sound. That is called as a propagation of a sound. Yes or no? Now yes, whenever you are talking with your friend, yes or no? Many a times during the recess, yes or no? Can you guess what happens during the recess? Do you remember your school? Yes. See, so in the recess, your friend is at one point and you are at another point. When your friend shout, then you are able to hear from the particular long distance. How is it possible? The vibrations of air, it helps the vibe. Vibration of the air, so it helps to move and it can hear by your ear. Are you getting? So, the vibration of an air. Air does not move. It, it helps to, uh, it helps the air. Another air 
it bombards it to the another air so that it gives a message to the another air that this is the sound so it uh, it, it it reaches to your ear till it reaches to the ear now see for example now see school bell is there it will hear in this campus in the school campus am i right if you are if you if you are living out of this means if you are on the road you are on the highway of it we are able to hear the voice of uh, voice of the bell no because the air which bombarded means from one point to another point the voice of the air so voice of that particular bell it decreases it decreases because when the bombard when when the air is air is moving from one point to the another it, it reduces its weight so uh, so the thing is that when air is propagated it helps to hear so sound needs a medium sound needs a medium are you getting so sound this are it is the form of energy sound is a form of energy am i right so sound waves when passes from one point to another they are in the form of the wave they are in the form of the wave see when sound suppose it is at particular distance when it work when the sound has started it will move from this to it will it is it is a form of the wave and after particular point it decreases the waves are decreases now when you are standing near your school bell you are hearing the loud sound am i right but when you are at a particular distance or in the class you hear the sound little bit less am i right because the vibrations are are going they are they are in the decreasing order are you getting so sound is a form of energy or sound it uh, we get in the form of the waves are you getting this wave concept we will learn in the next video but what are the substances the substances through which the sound travel means sound see there is which uh, the my my sound is my sound is produced and uh, it will it, it can be easily uh, be hear to you why because there is a air so air is a medium so the substance through which the sound travel is called a medium it is called as a medium are you getting so there are the can you just tell me how many types of substances you have learned which are the three types of substances solid liquid and gases now i would like to give the example of the solid if you will take this um, uh, harmonium instrument see if you will take any musical instrument see this is a musical instrument what happens to the musical instrument when it produces the sound the vibration move this is a solid substance am i right then next is a liquid substance that is if this is a water am i right if the water if you will put anything inside the water if you will take a a uh, doll or a um, toy which has a uh, some musical sound if you will put in the water you can hear the sound so sound can travel through solid liquid and now see now when i am talking with you or when i am uh, when i am speaking with you people there is one medium so that is called as an air now for example now you are at home when you are talking with your friends or you are when you are talking with your mother and father you uh, you are you can easily talk am i right so there is a medium that is called as an air yes or no so solid uh, so the sound always needs a medium sound cannot travel in a vacuum so can you just tell me what is meant by the vacuum vacuum is the thing in which there is a no air at all see for example if you are on the moon are you be able to hear the sound no why we, we are not able to hear the sound because there is no atmosphere there is no atmosphere there is no air so we are not able to hear the voice of the another person are you getting so sound
sound cannot travel in a vacuum sound never travel in a vacuum are you getting this so sound travels faster more faster in gases sound travels more faster in a gases than solid and liquid solid and liquid are you getting this sound travels faster faster in which 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 states of matter yes in gases not in a solid sound can travel in solid and liquid also but it more more it can be propagated in the gases are you getting you can hear nicely you can hear my voice yes or no so which is the medium that is air which is in the gaseous state am i right so you are able to hear the sound are you getting so sound is more uh, propagated in the faster in the gaseous states so there are some there uh, so there are some material or uh, see this is a chart there are some material how the sound what is the speed of the sound what is the speed of the sound are you getting this now one more thing the speed of the sound in air the speed of the sound in air is 332 meter per second 332 meter per second this is the sound in air sound in air are you getting this the sound in air is 332 meter per second the sound travel faster this what is the rate of this 332 meter per second but now do you remember the thunder and lightning now during the rainy season now this is a rainy season am i right so you can hear the you can see the lightning first why you can see the lightning first and then you can hear the sound of thunder hey just try to guess it yes can you guess it why you can hear the why you can see the lightning first and then you can hear the voice of thunder can you just tell me see because light travels faster than sound light travels faster than sound the speed of the light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second this is the speed of light the speed of the light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second therefore we can see the lightning first and then we can hear the sound then we can hear the sound are you getting this so in the next video we are going to learn about the characteristics of the sound and or we can uh, or we will and also we will learn terms related to the waves what is actually the waves so in today's video we have learned about the propagation of sound so what is meant by the propagation the sound travels from one place to another so that is called as a propagation of a sound are you getting the sound travels faster in which states of matter yes gas in a gaseous so the in a gaseous the sound can travel faster then we have learned about the why does we we can see the lightning first and then we can hear the thunder because because the speed of the light is 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second while the sound is 332 the speed of the sound is 332 meter per second now see this chart which i have given you you have to uh, you have to note down in your notebook and uh, recite the what will be the speed of the sound of the aeroplane uh, what will be the speed of the sound of the sea water 